shall reflect on the life of Saint Elizabeth of Portugal. Saint Elizabeth was the daughter of King Peter the Third and Constance of Aragon, Spain. Named after her great aunt, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, Elizabeth was brought up in the spirit of strict piety and self-denial. At the age of 12, she was married to King Denis of Portugal, who came to be called the Re Laudator, the Worker King, because of his hard work in selfless service of his country. However, due to his immoral life, the court of Lisbon was thoroughly dissolute and corrupt. The young queen nevertheless silently kept up her regular religious practices, fasted and did penance, recited the entire divine office daily and showed herself in every way a model Christian mother and a virtuous queen. By extraordinary kindness and forbearance, she continually endeavoured to win the affections of a jealous and irascible concert. But it was not until the fortieth year of their married life that her unfailing prayers won the king to repentance and a complete reform of his life. Twelve years later, King Dennis went to his reward, and the queen, widowed, retired to the convent of Poor Clares, where she became a Franciscan tertiary and devoted herself to the care of the poor. Elizabeth's generous and indefatigable personal charity towards the unfortunate and the sick had been remarkable all through her life. The story of the bread loaves which she was taking to the poor and which became transformed into roses relates to her being surprised on a charitable errand by a suspicious husband, an event which was later erroneously attributed to Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Above all, however, Elizabeth, whose name in Greek means God has sworn, was sworn peacemaker. When in the year 1323, her son Alfonso rebelled and took up arms against his own father because he was outraged by the favours being bestowed on his illegitimate brothers. It was the queen, then a woman of 52, who rode out between the two armies drawn up for battle and succeeded in bringing about a reconciliation. At the age of 65, 13 years later, she had a similar opportunity. She left her convent to travel to Spain where the same son, now Alfonso IV, was at war with his son-in-law, King Alfonso IX of Castile, for having neglected and maltreated his daughter Maria. Again, Saint Elizabeth succeeded in stopping the fight and bringing about a peaceful settlement, but immediately afterwards she succumbed to a fever brought on by overexertion and died at Estremoz on the 4th of July 1336. She was canonized in the year 1625 by Pope Urban VIII.